A battery-powered carbon monoxide detector is the latest tool being used at the Goffstown Police Department. We wanted to be proactive ourselves and make sure that our guys aren't being, you know, um, susceptible to this. The chief reached out to the fire department to get the device after national reports of elevated CO readings in Ford police SUVs. We've had it since the beginning of the week, so we, we try to have each cruiser have it for, for about six hours a day to see if the levels uh, get elevated whatsoever. He's a supervisor of St. Joe's Church. That call for help came from an Auburn, Massachusetts police officer this morning after the more than 20-year veteran passed out at the wheel and crashed his cruiser, which tested for high levels of CO. He was transported to the hospital and he was found to have um, high levels of uh, CO in his blood as well. Engineers from Ford could be seen examining that vehicle at a garage later in the day. The company released a statement saying safety is our top priority and we are concerned for those involved. We are working with the Auburn Police Department. As for Goffstown, there have been no elevated readings, but they say they're prepared to reach out to Ford if it happens. These cruises for, for the officers are, are their office. It's, it's where they spend their entire shift and it has to be as comfortable as possible for those officers to, to be at their best. Now, two other Auburn, Massachusetts officers were treated today for CO poisoning. So far, Ford has only seen this issue with police SUVs. Live in studio, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.